guys, welcome back. My name's Melissa, if you're new here, and guess what? We're going plant shopping again, we're going online. And doing another plant shop with me, and I'm gonna do the screen record, record the process of buying the plant, and then when it gets here, we are gonna do the unboxing together and I'm gonna show you what I got. Now, for this video, I do have a plant in mind. It is a Alocasia Jacqueline. Uh, it is gorgeous, you guys. I have to have this Alocasia. I'm dying to have it. So we are gonna go on the hunt for one. We are gonna browse Etsy. And then I asked my Instagram. A couple people gave me some suggestions on a couple plant shops that they found them at. And then we are just going to purchase one that I feel is best for me, one that speaks to me. I don't want one like so expensive, you know, I do want to have somewhat of a budget. Ideally, I would like to stay between like 50 to $70 or so. I don't really want to go, I don't want to spend a hundred dollars even though it is my birthday, I just feel like the 50 to 75 maybe range is ideal is kind of what I'm looking for. Now I do want somewhat of a decent sized allocation and by decent size, I mean, I don't want like a tiny two inch starter plant, like a corn basically. I want one that's maybe like in a four inch pot, one that has at least a couple leaves that are maybe like the size of my palm, one that's a little bit bigger. If I can find a bigger one, then by all means, but I just don't want, I don't really want a seedling shipped to me, especially in the dead of winter, you know, because a lot of places it's cold. So that is the plan. That's what we're going to be looking for. And you are probably going to be seeing this video on my birthday. So if the plant can get here in time, then I will post this on my birthday. But if it comes later, then I will post this after my birthday. <laughs> So yes, I'm really excited to get started. Thank you so much for coming on this plant shopping experience with me and let's plant shop. All right, so we are going to go onto Etsy here. And I did look the other day just briefly. I think I have two or three of the alocasias in my cart. So I just added them in here just to, you know, just to save them, but Again, I don't know if I am going to order these or not, but they're just in my cart. So I want to do, we're going to do a search for an Alocasia Jacqueline. And we are going to make sure to filter by United States. I'm going to filter by price. I'm going to do 25 to 50 and 50 to 100. Oh no, I can only do one. So let's do... Let's do minimum price 25 and high 100, and we're just gonna see what comes up. So I really don't wanna be tempted to buy anything that's over that. Oh, here's some tissue culture. That's cute. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's coming up. This is the very first one that's popping up, so let's look at this. This is from Paper Crane Nursery. I do remember this plant shop from before when I was looking. They had the smaller alocasias, which again are these here. So just because these are way smaller than what I ideally want, and they're $36.90, and I do remember I have to pay for shipping on this one. They're a little too small, so we are not going to um, look at this. And this main picture is kind of misleading. <laughs> Here is a four inch pot. That's what we're looking for. Plant Amani. Plant Amani. Oh wow, look at those sales. $63.99, that is within budget. It looks like it's 20% off. Before I even look, I wanna know where this plant shop is located. Oh, it's from Florida. That's perfect. All right, let's see. That is really cute. It does have a new growth coming in. It is tiny. I can say that it, even though it's in a four inch pot, it is a very tiny, I can just tell by the 
size of it, it's pretty tiny still. It is a possibility. They have a lot of sales. Let me see what they have to say about it. So you can add cold weather protection. Oh, buyer will receive a plant similar to the one pictured. We only have 10 of these available. Newly planted plugs. Please do not repot for 90 days. Okay. So that's a little disappointing. I don't want a newly planted plug. See, I knew it seemed like a baby plant. And so I don't know the exact one that I'm getting, so we are not gonna go with that one. So those two are out. And let's click on this one. Bubble Blooms, never heard of them. $49.99, that's not bad, 50 bucks four inch pot. Let's see where they are located. Oh, they are from Florida as well. Perfect. That looks like the new leaf that just unfurled. It is very, very tiny. Let's see what they have to say. I like that it's 50 bucks. That sounds reasonable. Description. Free shipping on orders over 35. You will receive plants similar to the listing photos. Man, I don't like that because I kind of like to know the exact plant that I'm getting per se, you know? Hmm. We'll favorite this and then come back to it. Sometimes it's tricky when you aren't purchasing the exact plant. Not saying that it can be misrepresented, but for me, it's not ideal because I want to know exactly what I'm purchasing in a way. Not that I don't, not that I haven't done that before. I would just rather kind of see the plant and know what I'm getting before I buy it, or at least kind of know what to expect. So we'll see. Here is one. Let's open this one. Botanic Heaven Plants, four inch pot, $44.99. That's the cheapest one yet. They're from New York. Uh, New York is a little iffy. I try to stay away from New York because my varicosum and I had a different plant that I purchased was from a New York seller and it got lost in the mail, especially during winter, I guess, uh, like, random snowstorm like came and my plant got lost. It took forever. I mean, it looks like a decent size. I sort of don't like that the petioles are kind of long. Hey buddy. Hi. Are you gonna purr purr for this video? Are you gonna let everyone hear your purr purrs? Yeah, are you gonna let everyone hear your purr purrs? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I like this one. This one, Plantly Addicted. Four inch. Let's see. $60. Where are they from? They're from Orlando, Florida. Would I get the exact one? Hmm. It doesn't say anything in the description. I'm not liking that one. It has a little hole here, which if it is this exact one, I don't want that. Here's another one from Paper Crane, Bubble Blooms. Well, that one looks kind of tiny though. Oh, it's a seedling. Not that I'm against seedlings. I just don't really, I would prefer not to have a seedling. Oh, they're from California. No. This was one that was in my cart already. Let me see. It looked kind of cute to me. There's only one photo though. And it's located in Florida, which I kind of like. 
Look how cute this one is too. I wish I had another photo though. It's not a big shop at all, but it's really cute. We'll see. Let me see what else we can find. Whoa, look how big that one is. That is absolutely gorgeous. Give you lots of instructions, free shipping. They're from Florida. Flora MD. I mean, I know that's kind of over my budget, but darn, that is beautiful. I know I wouldn't be getting this exact one, but I guess a similar one. Let me see their website. Hmm. They don't have many plants at all. Okay, so let's see what else there is. Another one from Florida. This is $80 though. It is very cute. Let me, let me. There's too many to choose from. <laughs> uh, let me look a little bit more and then I might. There was a couple more sites that someone told me to check out. So I want to look at those two with you guys. Whoa, this one's only 35. And a heat pack is included. Where are they located? Florida, what? Plant will be shipped in a six inch. Heat packs included, no additional cost. Plant shown may not necessarily be the plant scent. I've had a lot of sales. $35? I feel like a six inch is a decent sized plant. That's definitely a four inch pot though. Let me pull up this plant shop. Uh, let's see. Sometimes if I'm buying a plant and it's like 35, sometimes I'll check out what else they have and maybe purchase another plant. I'm just kind of curious what else they're selling on here. A lot of Hoya plants. Oh, they have another variegated Maranta. Monstera Dubia for only 32. This one here, I added a Monstera Dubia in my pot with this other Alocasia Jacqueline because it's only $35 and the Dubia was 32. That's a possibility of getting a Dubia. I've never seen a Dubia for that inexpensive. And it's a decent size too. I don't think I'd be getting the exact one, but I mean, if that's what I'm getting, that's, that's really good. I love Monstera, so I feel like I have to add a Monstera Divia to my collection one day. And then I'd be getting two plants for the price of one. <laughs> uh, the other one I have is this one that's $100, which I feel like it's a little bit too big for me to start out with. I'm not really wanting to pay that much. So we are gonna just cancel this one out of our cart. So we have this possibility, this Jacqueline, I won't know the exact one that I'm getting, but of course, and it's coming from Florida and, but it's just so inexpensive. This one I did like two, it was only 50. Yeah, I have to pay for shipping, but that's a possibility. I'm gonna look at these shops that the other 
person told me about in my Instagram. One of them was the rare plant, plant fairy. Rare, let's just Google rare plant fairy. They're from Detroit, Michigan, which again, cold weather and all that. I've never ordered from them before, but they said they had a couple alocasia jacqueline's. Right here, they're 75 and it looks like, it looks like a decent size alocasia. Very beautiful. I don't know how much shipping would be because coming from Michigan, I'm sure it's really cold right now. So this is a possibility. And then there was another one someone mentioned, Arizona plant stand. I've never heard of them. And they, someone said they had alocasia jacqueline's. Three gallon one. Uh, yeah, that's too big. Not the size that I'm wanting to start out with. And I don't like that it's in that huge pot. So we are going to X that one. All right, so let me get back to, I'm gonna bring up all of our possibilities again. Okay, so we have a lot of options here that we're gonna have to narrow down. Kind of leaning towards this one. You know, this one here, that's 50. There are not a lot of sales. This one is from Florida and I would be getting like the exact plant here. 50 bucks, that's a possibility. This one from Paper Crane. This one is pretty far from me in Oregon, $15 to ship. We have this one, it's from Florida as well. This one's 80. <laughs> we have this one from Florida. Now, one of these, I remember saying they were gonna ship it in a six inch, but I don't remember which one that was. And then we have, we could get the one from the rare plant berry. I don't know. I am going to look at these. I'm gonna pause filming and just look at these just so I can really like sit and think about this for a minute. And then I will come back on with kind of my final thoughts and decisions and then I'll kind of tell you my thought process. I just feel like I don't want to be like rushing into this purchase. So I just want to sit and think about it for a while and I will be back on. So yeah. Okay, I'm back. It's been about 20-ish minutes and I think I've narrowed it down to two. I've narrowed it down to this plant shop here, Land of Alice Studio. If you buy two items, you get 10% off, which I could get the Monstera Dubia and a Jacqueline with um, priority shipping for $68.80, which is a good deal. Now I can knock the Dubia off and just get the Jacqueline, but I feel like if I'm gonna get 10% off, I might as well maybe get two for the price of one, two plants, you know? But the only thing is this Jacqueline, I, I don't know the exact plant that I'm getting. And this is the one that said it's in a four inch pot, but then they were gonna ship it in a six inch pot, which is a little confusing to me. The rare plant fairy one here, this is the one that cost 75. And I put my shipping information in and ground shipping was $12 and something. So it brought the total to like almost, I think it was, $87 or something like that was the grand total. So still again, kind of expensive. And this one, you don't know, I didn't know which allocation I was getting. It was still gonna be up in the air. So I feel like if it's still gonna be up in the air and I don't know which allocation, then I might as well just go with this plant studio, right? Cause it's $35. 
it's just hard to beat that price. I feel like plant prices as it is can be expensive and then I get two plants. I feel like I have to go with this one. Even though I would really like the rare plant fairy one, I just feel like 90 bucks for the Alocasia Jacqueline is more than I wanna spend. So it's $8 for priority mail. They're from Orlando, which is only like, I don't know, four or five hours from here. It's not very far. So I feel like if they shipped it Monday or Tuesday, I would get it within like the end of the week, this coming week. I think I'm gonna go with the shop. That way I can get two plants for the price of one and take my chance on this Jacqueline. Even though it's not like the biggest and prettiest Jacqueline, that's okay. You know, I, I would much rather get, I would much rather get a small, not a seedling, but a smaller plant that can grow up and be cared for in my environment than getting like a big one and it potentially stressing and then like dying all of its leaves back per se in a way. All right, it's done. I'm going with the shop. I just, something is telling me to go with the shop and not the rare plant fairy. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna check out here and we will do part two of this when the plant gets here and we will do the unboxing when the plants get here and then we'll do the unboxing. So I'm excited now. I wasn't expecting to get two plants. So that is what we're gonna do and then I will see you guys when the plants are here. Guess what came you guys, plant mail. Yay, it literally just got dropped off by USPS. I'm so excited. I just came outside because it's actually like almost 70 degrees today and I haven't been outside yet today. And I'm like, it's kind of nice out here. I'm still chilly though. I have goosebumps all over my arm. Whew, I'm a little nervous. So it's been cold here this weekend in Savannah, like down into the thirties. So I'm a little bit nervous. Today is um, the 17th of January. It is Tuesday and let's go into our Etsy here and we are going to just kind of fill you in. It's been a while since I ordered this, I feel like. So I purchased this on January 7th. So it's been 10 days. So it's been a little bit longer than I expected, honestly. And the shop is based in Orlando, which isn't that far from me, like maybe four or five hours. So I'm honestly really surprised it took 10 days. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little, I'm like, why is it taking so long? So I bought the plant on January 7th and you guys saw that I actually got two plants. I got the Alocasia Jacqueline and then I got a Monstera Dubia, four inch pots and there's supposed to be a heat pack included. And the shop came from, like I said, Orlando. And the plant shop is called Land of Alice Studio. And yeah, so I paid for priority mail two days. So I got that shipping label was created on January 10th. And then January 14th is when it was accepted at the facility. So January 14th was Saturday. So they shipped it on Saturday over the weekend, which to me is a little maybe interesting. Normally you, I feel like most people do like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I got, I actually got that it was shipped on the 10th, but I guess that was just the shipping label because that was Monday. So I ordered on, I'm getting confused now. So the seventh was um, a Saturday. I ordered on a Saturday and the shipping label was created on Tuesday the 10th. So I thought for sure they were shipping it out last Tuesday. That's from what my understanding is. So the shipping label was created on Tuesday. It wasn't shipped on Tuesday. So it wasn't shipped until that Saturday, almost a week later after I purchased. So it did take them a while to actually ship it. So that's something to consider, especially if you are further away from the shop, if it did take them so long to actually ship it. So it was shipped out on Saturday the 14th and then it was still in Florida on the 15th. It arrived in Jacksonville on the 15th. Jacksonville is only two hours from here. And then it arrived at the Savannah facility yesterday on Monday and then 
it was out for delivery today on the 17th. So that's kind of like the tracking history. So when I purchased it, I got an order note. I don't know if it was automatic. It just said, thank you. Please let us know if there are any issues with your plant once it arrives. We are always willing to work with you to make you the happiest plant parent. And that's all that was sent to me. And so, okay, so each plant, so the Alocasia Jacqueline costs 35 and the Monstera Dubia costs 32.50. And there was a shop discount of 10% because I purchased two plants. The discount was $6.75. So the subtotal was $60.75. I had to pay $7.80 for shipping and then $4.80 for a sales tax. So my grand total came to $73.35 for two plants. So I feel like that was a pretty good deal. I was just a little bummed that the shipping took so long being so close to me. I thought they, for me ordering on Saturday, I thought for sure they would have shipped it out Monday or Tuesday and I would have gotten the plant within like a couple of days. So that's the only disappointing thing I would say about this Etsy purchase, which is fine. It just took them like a week to ship out. I mean, they could have had something going on, I guess. You can kind of see inside it has packing peanuts and two plants here. Ooh, it is windy out today. All right, so this is what it looks like inside here. Right here, you can see there's two plants and it looks like there's a note. So this is just the receipt and this is just a thank you note. And it has like their, um, these plants are happy to see you too. And then it, and it shows like their social and all that. So that was nice to include that. That's very nice. So I think this one is the Dubia cause it's taller. So, and oh, they're, they're conjoined at the hip. This one I think is the Jacqueline. So I will say there is dirt in this box. They again, like were, just covered up by the paper on the bottom. So there is dirt spilling out. Ooh. But I mean, I feel like they're pretty snug in the pot. I mean, in the box, cause I feel like with the packing peanuts, it kind of helped support them. Ooh. So which one should I open first? I know this is the Dubia cause it's taller. I want to know what the Jacqueline looks like. That's the one I'm most excited for. So I'm going to open. Let's open the Jacqueline. I'm getting really nervous now. The um, dirt feels, it feels kind of, I can't tell. I feel like it feels on the drier side, maybe. Oh, so it said a free heat pack was included, but there was not a heat pack in my order. So that's another thing. On the description of each plant, it said heat pack included. So there was no heat pack included. And it was freezing this weekend. <laughs> oh. oh, so I didn't know what these plants were gonna look like. So I didn't have an exact picture. Look how cute. Oh, and it has a little baby leaf. How stinking cute. These are packaged very well on top though. Look at that. It's so fragile. It's such a little baby. I love it. I didn't know what they were gonna look like, you know, cause it, it didn't have as an exact picture of what I was getting. That's adorable. Look. I love it. I'm obsessed. I'm happy. I have to be careful. I seriously am, have just been on a, I don't know if I've just been a klutz lately or what it is. So I accidentally dropped my alocasia corn, my variegated one, and I broke a leaf off. So I'm like nervous now of like breaking things. Just 
a damp paper towel on top. Okay, it's still damp, yeah. so it didn't completely dry out. Looks like um, potting soil with perlite maybe, and some orchid bark in there. That is really stinking cute. I'm obsessed, you guys. I'm obsessed. I love it. And this was only $35. $35. I got a Jacqueline for $35. Oh, and it does look like a new leaf is starting. I don't know if you, let me see if it'll focus. So do you see it right there at the base, right down in there? There's a tiny, tiny little growth point. It might give me a new leaf soon. Okay, I've got to reposition myself. Oh, my knees. <laughs> Let me move you up a little bit. I'm getting older, you guys. I can't sit on my knees for very long anymore. All right, so this is the Dubia here. A Dubia was not on my radar like anytime soon, but I saw it and something just told me to buy it. I love Monsteras. So, should I slide it right out? $30. Look, that is gorgeous. Okay, I take back what I said from the delayed shipping. <laughs> ah, it's so pretty. Wow. I'll have to get it um, restaked soon. That is gorgeous. It's so big. I would definitely order again. I will gladly wait a week for my plans. I think I was just impatient. This is stunning. So I saw this in one of our plant shops local to me and they wanted like 90 bucks for it or 75 bucks. So this one was 32.50. And I mean, that's like pretty good size if you ask me. And then that was 35. I am so happy. I could not have been happier. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with these plants at all. Yeah. So this soil here seems a little bit more compacted. It's probably just because of the um, wood plank in there. It feels a little bit harder. And yeah, so I'm not gonna mess with these right away. I'm gonna let them acclimate and just adjust to my space. As long as they don't have any pests, I'm probably gonna put this one in my Ikea cabinet. But then I don't wanna like stress it out if it's too intense in there. So maybe, I'm not sure. I'll have to think about what I want to do or where I want to put this one. And this one I'll probably just put on my plant shelf somewhere as long as it doesn't have like any pests. I'll do a quick thorough look over. Um, I might give them a tiny bit of a drink um, just to give them a water. I feel like this one could use a drink. And yes, I'm so excited. They're beautiful. So those are my birthday plants. But yes, very happy. So Land of Alice Studio. I will link their Etsy shop down in the description if you want to check them out. They're based again out of Orlando. And I mean, I can't say anything negative. I'm happy. I got two great plants for very inexpensive. I feel like $30 to get these plants, you know? $30 each, I mean, I would definitely check out their shop and order from them again, hands down. I'm excited, yay! So thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing with me. I can't wait to get these plants growing. I'm just so excited. Thank you so much and I will talk to you soon.